another goal. He's gone for a hand pass to Twiggy Dunn, who lines it up. And Some of them came back. And importantly, Twiggy Dunn. Beautifully. Up it goes towards the full forward zone. Richmond player spoil as a go for Twiggy Dunn. A snap for goal. What's he done with it? He's put it through. Four point the beautiful goal. Out now as a go for Carson Dunn's there. He can't bend down. He's clears a quick snap for goal. And what has he done with it? He's put it through. Much arms time for Carter. The lead on the half forward line's too long for McConville. Almost marked there by McCormack. In possession. Hipped out by Keogh, free kick against Keogh, over the shoulder, McCormick's free. He's at centre-half back, thought about a hand pass, as you saw, but decided not to, to burn. Not a convincing-looking kick up towards Max Richardson. McClure, but the man in front being paid. Well, McClure thinks he's got it, but he hasn't. That's going to uh, Max Richardson. He can't believe it, Mark McClure. More, but there's a million down there near him, but he's marked... Oh, no, he hasn't. Man in front... Can we ever forget that tremendous mark that Dunn took? Here he is in the middle of the pack in last year's first grand final to save that first uh, grand final for Collingwood when they drew it. 25 metres out, right in front for Collingwood's first goal. And to level the score, and he has. Easy mark to judge, tallest man in that area, back to Duel. The kick was smothered brilliantly, picked up by Carmen, who was kickless in that second quarter. Here goes Manasseh across the half-forward line to Moore, and Pennell right with him. Flicked away from their hands. Dunn, who's kicked two goals, three goals! And the Magpies answer back. Twiggy Dunn in the seam, pounces on the ball with Southby hot in pursuit. Swerves away from Southby, onto his left boot, dead-eyed Dick, straight through for his third goal. Tackles, still battling for possession. Tremendous struggle on by, by both sides in this match. Richardson onto his boot quickly, down towards Dunn. He's a clever player when he has the ball running. He's kicked three great goals. Flicked it up there towards Bond, quickly on to Shaw. 30 metres out, he tries it. Anyway, to be taken by Pennell. Whitcroft and Collins, and Collins is only going at a quarter at his usual speed. Pick him. Now, this will be a fitting reward if Billy can kick this. He's had a long shot. It's a floater. It won't get there. It's off the hands of the pack. Done. Done has kicked it. Four goals to Triggy Done. Underneath it is Towns. Got two hands to it. Decides to fist it away. Looking for Austin. He gets overrun. Here's a chance to pick it up. Uh, Twiggy Dunn. Over to Max Richardson. Max Richardson. Second quarter, rather. North Melbourne lead by 15 points. It's in Collingwood's forward pocket. Dunn normally kicks these. And he hasn't let them down this time either. Oborn picks up the crumb. Gets the call to go through the pack. A long kick down towards Moore and Glenn Dinning. A pushing and shoving match going on. Dunn is in front position, but running out of for space. A desperate attempt there by Glenn Dinning to push that ball out of play on the full, deliberately. And Dunn takes the free kick from a very acute angle in the forward pocket, but only 25 metres out, and Collingwood have yet to score. And a pretty harsh decision, too, by the field umpire, I might say. Well, it's on, and that's it. Now, Dunn, if ever a player can kick goals from impossible angles, it's Twiggy Dunn, one of their most experienced forwards. And there it is, it's a beautiful kick. Shredded the eye of a needle from Twiggy Dunn. Stewart to half forward. Dunn is there with Sutton. Carmen and Greg. Dunn at the back. Phil Manassa, half forward play. 23 minutes in the second quarter, and the Magpies have better get a rattle on if they want to be in this game by half time. Up towards Carmen, back into the pack, over the top. Dunn! Dawson, now done, shrugs off a tackle, handballs from two knees out wide to Bond. Bond, who's a good left footer, drives for... See who's up by an update uh, final snatches. And the kick, going to Worthing. Worthing on the wing. Both sides, uh, Collingwood kicked the goal for the quarter, North Melbourne two. And it's a long kick, done. The attempt done by G's sticky fingers when he gets going, he's kicked three great goals. 
That's good play by uh, by North Melbourne. A good tackle put on by Tricky against Melrose, and the Collingwood player done will take the free kick. Done the forward man almost up on half back. Oh, across to Manasseh, who's had a pretty bad day really. Into the centre, not oh, nearly got it again. Puppets. Oborn a bit nonchalant. Could lose it through nonchalance here. Picken. Moore calls for it. And he'll get it. And he can sink his... No, he won't. On to Oborn, who swings onto his kicking boot. Up towards Dunn. Players everywhere. Oh, I don't know about that. Dunn is going to get it, I think, the mark. I wouldn't have played that. He doesn't waste any time. Carmen's in the goal square by himself. And that's his second goal. Himself half the time. We're now back to Dunn, who's the, the fiddles. Worthington. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right. Collingwood 21 points down. Start of the quarter, 14 points down. And five strong positive marks to Worthington, most on the back line, and was moved in the, to the forward position in the third term. He's kicking from 15 metres out.